Welcome to this episode of The Marriage Creative. We are a happy family with one really big story, and we want to help you grow, strengthen, and rekindle your marriage. Hey, welcome back into The Marriage Creative Podcast. I'm Caleb Nelson, and that's my wife, Carla. And we're back. Thanks for, uh, thanks for tuning in again. Took a little break there. Had a lot of stuff going on. And uh, Well, we always have a lot of stuff going yeah, on. Yeah, just like intensified. <laughs> Well, and in all transparency, yep. we had a couple of weeks where um, we were like out of sync a little bit and didn't want to come in here and record and cause anyone confusion or... <laughs> you say confusion, I'm thinking confusion and delay from the old Thomas show. But yeah. Yeah, so I mean, um, that's one thing that that we want to always strive to promote here is transparency. Even when it's maybe not popular, yeah. But um, yeah, it just wasn't. It was just a really hard two weeks. I don't know. The kids came back. I was gone one week. The kids came back. We were trying to make all the transitions. Yeah, and um, we were a lot happier to see our kids than they were to be home. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> From summer camp, but uh, everybody's at home now. We're in the process of moving. Mm-hmm. That'll really well, date the show. Yeah. Well, we're packing our house up. And, yeah, get ready to list. Yeah, we don't have any idea. Well, I mean, I've been saying it this way. The Lord knows where we're going because I don't have an idea. So um, we're looking. <laughs> well, we have some ideas. We have some ideas, but we, we don't have the house picked out. We're not in contract or anything like that. Yeah. So, yeah, but anyway, like Carla said, uh, when you're, you're just trying to uh, keep everything going, Sometimes it's better, it's like your mom told you, if you can't say something nice, don't say anything at all. And that was kind of where we were just at. I mean, granted, I was out of town one weekend, so that was one of the reasons we couldn't be here. But then the other, it was just, man, we we couldn't just feel like we could pull it together and, and be be profitable for someone's listening. Well, and also, you know, I think what we've talked about so much of the time is the power of agreement. Mm-hmm. We definitely have had a lot of disagreement in the process of trying to pack up and trying to look at properties and trying to. So you don't, you know, what we don't want to do is come in here and like, blah. Yeah. Everybody, okay, now you can feel down. You can feel even worse <laughs> about your situation. So. Well, they may not, feel better knowing that they're not the only ones. Well, yeah, I mean, re- real is real. Mm-hmm. But um, I don't think that's the foot that we want to put forward. Yeah, yeah. And it was funny, too, because uh, the last show was the Raise Your Hand show, which is that's not what we called it, but that's what everybody – like we talked five or six different topics, but the the one thing we got over and over, and people are still talking about it, was the Raising Your Hands thing. That was – it was funny because, I mean, immediately the messages started coming in. Yeah, yeah. And it, it was like – I guess they've either never listened to the program before or we've never hit a struck a nerve, but that one apparently really struck a nerve. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of funny. And it was, I don't know, it was just so much comedic value on what I was receiving from people messaging me. It was hilarious. So thanks for all that. It, it made my day. Yeah. Yeah. It was fun. So anyway, we are, uh, like Carla and I said, we're in the process. We've decided to move and we're, going somewhere else we're not moving into the in-laws house we're still using that as our um, base of operations here for podcast recording but that's about it and there's just a lot of moving pieces going on right now you've changed your schedule at work i'm now working as a money coach with forward financial group all, all sorts of things happening so the boys are back from camp looking for jobs and Mary Caden's working at the shop with you so i mean just just a lot of stuff happening around we've had puppies Oh my gosh, we've had puppies for what seems like a very long time, and mm-hmm. we still have a few puppies. So it's it's just been a lot of uh, internal and external pressures kind of pushing us at all sides. Well, and I think too, um, anytime you're taking new territory, which I think is what we've been attempting to do with the marriage creative, is to you know help. Um, encourage, help, challenge, help inspire other couples and families. Typically, it causes your own family to be challenged. And, you know, anytime you're taking territory, I think it 
You have to anticipate that. Even, yeah, you're going to endure some things like... Some people say, like to say new levels, new devils. I don't necessarily like that. No, but it's kind of but, a kind of a worn-out trope, but people say it all yeah, the time. Yeah, but when you're in the process of stepping out into new things, I think it creates for new challenges as well. And so um, I think that's what we were experiencing, as well as, you know, we have four teenagers and a 10-year-old at mm-hmm. home. So... That just has its own level of issue. And, and it's kind of chaotic there now because there's a pod in the yard and there's boxes stacked everywhere and people are packing and throwing away. And it's like... There's not just a pod. There's a pod on one side and a dumpster on the other. Well, that's the, the second dumpster because we've already filled one up. Yeah. So yeah. that going on has created for a little bit of chaos in itself. A lot of bit of chaos. Well, a lot. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> And plus eight puppies. Yeah, yeah, it's just been wild. Yeah. So, so it kind of culminated and we it was just better just like your mama said, sometimes it's better not to say anything. And that's why we just decided, let's catch our breath and, and we'll get back to this. Well, and I think even that is is saying a lot that you can sometimes step away from something, even though you love doing it and your heart's in it. Sometimes saying no to something is a bigger yes. Mm-hmm. So, you know. Well, I learned in my old podcasting stuff that um, if you try to stick to a really strict schedule, which is, you know, the number one thing to keep your audience happy and people coming back, um, that's what you do. And I had a huge audience, and it just created a lot of undue pressure for me to perform. Right. And who was I performing for? All these people who just enjoyed my free content basically right. not that we don't enjoy creating free content but what i was saying is it was um it took the focus off of my family at the time and you know it that didn't do me any favors for well, sure what good would it do for us to have a podcast speaking of marriage and family if we're neglecting our marriage and family yeah i mean yeah. that's sort of like the most backwards thing we could possibly i, I do. guess what we're trying to say is if we don't show up one week it's nothing personal we're just, we have more important commitments. We're actually setting an example. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you just have to say no. It's the most powerful word. What we're talking word. about here is, you know, prioritizing marriage and family. Well, then if we don't do that, we're definitely being poor stewards right. of the message that we want to promote most. Yeah. Yeah. So. So anyway, as uh, we're not going to take a lot of time here because we still have a lot going on. But just some things going on for us. Like I said, Carla's adjusted her schedules, and it's uh, more intense, I guess you would say, at work. Um, so now that you you seem to be uh, working more in less time, are you finding the opportunity to still be able to talk to folks like you have in the past? Is it still there? Oh, yeah. I think it's um, more so because I've hired help, for mm-hmm. one. So I find myself having more opportunity to speak to people because I'm not the only one taking care of right. them. Right. So you you got you can mo- more focus on them than now it might what's mean going that I'm not them. with them the entire thirty minutes or hour and a half that they're in my chair. Mm-hmm. But the time that I am with them is actually more concentrated, more focused, and I'm not pulled. Yeah. So I think it's very beneficial. Cool. Cool. Okay. I'd rather give someone 15 quality minutes Mm -hmm. than an hour of exhaustion. Right. You know. Nodding, shaking your head. Yeah. I mean, honestly, quality versus quantity is, I think, you know, what, what matters. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Well, I'm still home with the kids. And just came out with Ford Financial Group, which is a um, it's, an, it's an organization who helps folks get out of debt. It's not an MLM or anything like that. It's not uh, what what do I say? It's not you know, envelopes and beans and and rice. So if you like information, of course we'll have it around on our social connections. But uh, looking to do more in that aspect to help families like ours get out of the trap that we bought into for so long, which causes undue stress pressures and. Um. <laughs> Arguments at the Marriages house. Marriages and families, right. So if you or your you and your family have debt, 
and you're interested in getting out of it legally, let me know. I'd, I'd love to help you. It's it's a really great program, and uh, it's it's been and pretty life changing for us. Yeah, yeah, it's absolutely free. Yeah. So you can find me on our socials or just direct yourself. You'll find me. I'm all over the internet. So, uh, and, I'm not. and she's not. And it, it's funny you said that because Alicia Garner, um, messaged us in air quotes through Facebook last night, and <clears throat> she was talking about the. Um, the um, the the real estate market in Ohio, and she was like, "What do you think about this girl or something like that?" And I was like, "Well, actually, this is Caleb. Yeah, Carla's never been here." And then she was like, "Oh my gosh, I could never imagine sharing my Facebook with Mark because his humor is so different than mine." And I'm like, "Well, Carla's never been online. It just I've been her personified on the internet for the last fifteen years. So, which means you'll never know what you get." Yeah, because, well, people tell me, oh, I saw what you posted about, and I'm like, I haven't posted anything ever. So It just goes to show you how well I know you. No. Sometimes yeah. it's like, what? Ah, uh, come on. And I'm thinking, no, I would not have posted that. So that's... Yeah, if it's a post about inflation, it's probably not Carla. Actually, if it's posted at all, it's not Carla. Hey, what I'm saying, what would I actually post? <laughs> I don't know. A scripture? I do that, that too. That would be probably encouragement. The only, yeah, I do that. Only thing that I, I can make it look just like you. That I would. I doubt that. Which is kind of funny. Back in the day, the statute of limitations has expired in this. But back in the day, we were opening Carla's very first salon. We had to get some papers signed real quickly, so I signed her name and I signed my name. And then they sent the papers back to us, and they said. We need Carla on and um, to have her and her signature notarized. What is it? What's the word I'm looking for? Authenticate. Authenticated. Authenticate. Well, I'm like, yeah. I can get the word out. <laughs> I, I did her signature so well that they wanted me to do it again. No, I had to auth- authenticate. Uh, I can't get the word <laughs> it was out. Hilarious. We've been married a long time, and uh, we've been partners in this I'm thing like, for quite a while. I'm like, how am I to prove my signature? Yeah, she was having to prove her signature that I wrote for her. It was beautiful. No, I had actually signed no, it. No, I had signed it for you, but they wanted they thought it looked so much yeah, it was it was hilarious. Well that's No, that's that, right. You did sign I it. I signed it. Right. But and then they made you they authenticate. Made me that's what it was. They were like, it doesn't like your signature because yeah. you signed my name so much that they thought that my signature wasn't me. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Mine actually looks more like hers than hers does. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. That I have to prove myself because... Hey, well, Bible says we're one flesh. Yeah. So. It's bad when you have to try to prove your own signature, <laughs> that it's you. Well, that was about 20 years ago, so I, that uh, that story can be told in public now. Yeah. Yeah. All right, anything else before we go? I can't think of anything. No, we got a lot of man stuff to talk about. We just don't have time right now. No, but I so will say So, guys, get, get your big boy pants on for the next show. I can tell you it's coming. I have had quite the conversations with men clients this week. Really? Yeah. And um, several of them are anxious, anxiously awaiting for you to start meeting with them. Wow, this is the very first time I've heard of this. Breaking news on the Marriage Creative Show. You dun, never dun, know dun, when dun. You're hear Gosh, it. if I had my buttons in here, I could have like a breaking news button. I don't have any buttons. Well, that's what happens when you come in last. You minute. have buttons. It's called a passion point button and a what was the other one? Pressure point. Pressure point button. Hmm. Yeah, but I don't have sound effects. Yeah, well, I, I could turn on the echo over here, no, but I won't do not. that. Okay. All right, so uh, we're gonna go. Thank you so much for listening, and we'll be back the next time here on The Marriage Creative. Today's episode is brought to you by Post and Gate. Thank you for listening to this episode of The Marriage Creative. Subscribe and click the notification icon so you can stay up to date with all things The Marriage Creative. To learn more about who we are and what we do, check us out on social media or go to themarriagecreative.com today.